Welcome back, everybody. Now, it's been a while since I've done a boxing video. It's not because I haven't wanted to. It's just been a very busy start to the year for me. Here we are in February 2020 already. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to select Endurance. That's the difficulty. I'm going to fight uh, the guy. His nickname is Gene Priest. Here we go. Keep it clean at all times. Yeah. Protect yourself at all times. And what I say. Sure, I'm gonna do that. Win. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. There you go. It starts off with the jab. Oh, left. Oh, man, I'm coming out strong. Uh, I felt really good in the earlier rounds doing this. I hadn't. Um, box in a while, but I, I didn't feel too winded, at least in the earlier rounds. Sometimes when I haven't played in a while, just after the first round, I I feel like I've I'll punch myself, but I felt really good um, the majority of this fight. Blocking a lot of my punches. There we go. Body shot. Oh, I'm trying to go back upstairs, but he blocked it. There you go. There you go, body. And trying to get him to lower his hands, but he, he kept them up there pretty well. Oh, there we go. Caught him with the left. There we go. Body. Come on. Ooh, I got robbed. The right seemed to have a lot of success in this fight. Look at that, see the rights are crisp. There you go, come on. I'm giving a lot of body shots in this round. There we go. Uh, there we go, it's the end of the first. And uh, as I said, I wasn't that tired at the end of this round. I did throw a lot of punches, a lot of power punches, but I didn't feel as tired. It was really cool. It's been, uh, if you live in the alley area, it's been really cool these last full few days. So uh, maybe that helped me stay cool. Uh, sometimes I do this during the summer, and that it's you just it's really hot outside, so you feel really tired. Once you start throwing these punches, you build up a good sweat. Before you know it, you start to feel really gassed. But it's been a really um, cool last few days um, it's been a really chilly winter here in LA by the way uh, I still feel a little heartbroken about San Francisco losing the uh, the Super Bowl I was rooting for them and I thought they had it there uh, you know, I thought that pass that was overthrown, that, that should have been a clear touchdown for San Francisco there. That was in the fourth. 
fourth quarter there. I thought they had a real big chance to score that. Jimmy just overthrew a little bit. And that, you know, that could have changed things, but... Well. And I got rocked. And he came out throwing a lot of punches early on. I think I weathered the storm pretty good, though. Now, look at that. Look at those jabs. Look, there we go. Trying to keep him off me. Trying to get some respect. Throwing some body shots in there. There we go. Look at those body shots. Another one. Another body shot. Another one. And I'm really uh, breaking him down here. I, I did find some success in later rounds of really cornering him and just giving him a variety of body, uh, body shots, straights, hooks. It kind of like this round here, but uh, there's a there's a round where I just have completely cornered and he's just got no answer. I'm going downstairs, upstairs. And he's got no. No answer the whole round. It wasn't this round though, but I am doing pretty well this round as well. I was just trying to move my head there. Uh, you could uh, have little success tricking them with head movement. Uh, I find if you are going to try to dodge with your your head or mislead them to a punch, you still got to keep the hand up because uh, they'll just flail like a right hook and you think that you're gonna you know, dodge the punch, but however, it'll still land. Um, so I would always suggest if you think that you could dodge without blocking with your head, you, you'll get caught, at least in this game. I know um, maybe when you're boxing in real life, there's, you know, I always admire those guys that could dodge. Uh, by faking, doing a lot of feints with their heads and dodging punches. Uh, however, this game, I don't think you could do that very much. You're going to have to keep your hands up. It would be nice, you know. I I would like, I, you know, I try to do it sometimes, but I always seem to get caught. I'm like, really, how does the computer know where my head's going to be? Uh, maybe it's that good? Maybe, you know, I don't know. This may be the round where I really cornered him. I think I think it is. Oh, I just got caught. Look at that. Yeah, I think this was it. I mean, he's trying to throw back, but I'm you know, doing a pretty good job of blocking, moving, while keeping the attack going. He's just keeping up his hands up at this point and trying to survive. <laughs> Look at that. I'm really breaking uh, 
breaking down of the defense. I got him, you know, fairly cornered as well. Um, I, I actually switch a few times to self paw just to get some power punches in there. Oh, look at that left! Man, that was so quick. <laughs> so yeah, I, I did quite a lot of switching to softball here um, in certain situations, uh, and I go to the right, and I really release some power shots. See right here, I'm kind of okay. I just went back to. There we go. See, I'm kind of, I'm kind of self pawn right here, and then I come back to my stance. I had a pretty good round there, but then he he got like a few sneaky shots in there. No, I have I have played on the highest difficulty, which is outmatched. I think that's the name of the difficulty level. And you have to move a lot more. You do not have uh, the freedom to kind of stay flat-footed. You're going to have to be moving, dodging a lot. <laughs> when I did it, uh, I was constantly circling uh, in, in the counterclockwise, and I was kind of staying on the outside of his left foot and I was just throwing jabs, jabs the whole fight and that's how I won, just, just kind of circling, running, stepping back, throwing jabs because uh, the first round I tried to slot and I was getting my, I was getting whooped so then I started to move a lot more um, so if you are going to play this game and you want to try outmatched for the first time, the difficulty level outmatched I strongly suggest, strongly suggest you um, do a lot of movement. You do not want to be staying flat foot. There you go. Getting to look at these punches I'm getting in there. Woo. Okay, this may have been the round where I really cornered them, really hurt them like that. Well, I'm. I'm Kind of surprised I had this much energy today. Uh, I've been working quite uh, quite early mornings, and I come to home really exhausted. Uh, actually, uh, I want to say uh, I got to give a shout out to my coworker Marla Tejas. She, I, I was working this morning uh, in Santa Monica, and then uh, it was so cold, so cold this morning, windy, and I'm setting up my camera. And I see somebody running, and it looks really familiar. And I take a closer look, and it's Marla running early in the morning, freezing temperature. And I say, Marla, how do you do it? And she says, you know what? I just, she's just gotten so consistent at it. And I said, Marla, you inspire me so much. So when I, uh, you know, come home after uh, like a early shift or I kind of feel a little tired, uh, I said, no, do I have to work out? I said, no, I I could do it. You know, Marla's out there running the cold. What excuse do I have? And uh, outside of just her running, she's an amazing reporter and anchor, and she's uh, always fun to work with. There we go. Look at that. See, I'm southpaw there. I I'm just throwing some body shots, and then I'm going with the hook once he puts the hands down. There I am, southpaw again. Trying to go to the body and then uh, go uh, with the hook once he's put his guard down. Now I'm back to my uh, more traditional stance.
Look at that jab. That's funny. Yeah, if you get a little tired during a round after you've thrown a lot of punches, you can kind of just step back, put up your gloves. But they, they, usually, the, they're going to come right after you. So you got to start moving a little bit. Oh, look at that. right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one thing I did notice is once you knock them down, it's not like you know. Even if you get a good knockdown, it's not like they look groggy or anything. They usually come back up, like, really ready to fight again. So, uh, that's something you need to get used to. If, if you knock him down once, anything, hey, I'm gonna go get this guy. This is it. I'm just gonna run him over. It's a game. It's not, like, real, you know, like a real. It, it, it is really good at simulating a real fight. But there's certain aspects to it, like, hey, you knock, you get a good punch, knock him down. You're not gonna be wobbly, you know. The game, you know, the your the game opponents, and they get right back up, and it's gonna be really game again. It's gonna start throwing punches again, and if you think that you know, maybe it's feeling tired, that has not. Uh, eventually, throughout the game, you'll see that the if you've done a lot of body punches and body jabs, that um, the computer its defense will get really sloppy. And I guess that's a way of, of it kind of appearing tired. And you'll feel it because you, your punches will get in a lot easier. But it's you have to put in the work to uh, I just got wrong, to to put in the body shots to wear it down. I guess so speaking because it's, you know, it's a computer. It's not really going to wear down. But you really have to do a good job of doing a variety of punches to the body and, and a lot of jab work to really to get it later on in the game to um, knock your opponent out. And the way the game goes, there's no one punch knockout that's going to end the game. Uh, the way it's set is you need to do three knockdown in one round. So like three, three knockdown roll, and then that'll end the match. Uh, at least to my knowledge, if anybody else knows if there's a one punch knockout that'll end the game, uh, if there's a way you can change that, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section. See, as you could tell, I'm getting a lot more punches in than I did in the first and second round. And that's because I've gone to the body a lot. And I continue to, even in the later rounds. You can tell I'm still a little tired right here. So I'm just kind of taking it easy, throwing a little bit of jabs, trying to catch my breath. Not too tired. I was never felt really exhausted in this. But I did feel the need at times to just kind of take my time, take a step back, let him come to me, and then um, kind of see what he was giving me. Because you could always, I've noticed that you could take what, the, what your opponent gives in, in in a fight you could just see like uh, right there he's like, his head exposed now his head is exposed again and now he gets closed now his body's exposed so you go back down and then you go back up because you, you know his clothes are back kind of down a bit so you there you go see you just kind of take what it gives you see so like uh, head head I would say there I'll probably go back to the body next punch I did it, but uh, I did notice that at least in the um, at least in the endurance uh, difficulty, uh, you could really just take what they what the opponent gives you. So you give me it'll open up the body. I'll take it. I'll take that body punch. I'll give it to him. Um, then see he's got his gloves straight over like the Pikachu defense. So I'll do a do a hook. Now he's covering from the hook. Uh, you could do a straight through that. See, I just did a straight right there, or I'll go to the body because he had his goes up. So a lot of this game, you could just take what the, the the opponent gives you and keep your gloves up to block any uh, punches they throw in there because they'll throw some sneaky ones, especially if you're playing. 
out out outmatched. I think outmatched or class outclassed. It. It's one of those two. Is what it's called. Um, you get really little um, chance to take punches. Like one or two punches, you'll you get knocked down because you're playing an outclassed. So your opponent will be a lot tougher. And in, in, even in endurance, though, you'll get knocked down if you're just running in, trying to knock him out without really worrying about defense. They're, they'll knock you down. And what it looks like when you get knocked down is just like a black screen, and you hear counting, and then slowly your picture fades back in, and you'll be kind of black and white until you regain full consciousness. Um... And one thing I have been wondering, which maybe uh, somebody who plays this is now, uh, knows, or maybe a developer knows, um, is that when you're in that gray mode, uh, once you've taken a good punch, or you've been knocked down, you get up, like, do your punches not have as much power during that time? I, I don't really know what happens during that time, other than that it goes gray. Uh, I mean, I've tried to throw big punches, but they don't seem to really connect during that time. I don't know if that's just coincidence or it's like maybe your punch power diminishes during that time. I don't know. Maybe if somebody knows, it, you can leave that in the comment section for me. So uh, that'd be interesting to know. I, I, I mean, I would very much like to know that. There you go. I'm just sound plugging. Oh, look at that. Just quick little, little punches there. Going body and up. See, there you go. See, that's what I mean. Remember earlier I was saying um, you can just take what it gives you. So, and also, its defense is not sloppy because I've done a lot. So it just gets easy. I'm just throwing um, right to the body and then uh, hook. Right hook. Just. Uh, but see how I got back up and all of a sudden he's game again. He's not like hurt or he isn't, doesn't look like he's been knocked down. So whenever you do knock down the opponent, um, you, you know, I found that it's best not to just rush back in and try to, you know, knock him down again. Just kind of see how fast it's going to come back to start hitting you again. And then kind of just block a little bit and then start working your way back into hurting it. There you go, see? I let him kind of come back. Kind of took the blocks on the punches, and then there you go. I'm set, starting to set him back up again. I think he's hurt again. So now I could go back in and start trying to knock down again. I wouldn't try to do it right after it gets up and just try to run back in and knock it down. No. Just let him get back up, see what it's you know, what's going to do, block those punches, dodge those punches, then walk back in. Start throwing some body punches, some jabs, and then get like a few big shots in, and then it'll slow down. They'll start backing up, and then you can start going for that knockdown, the second knockdown. See, I'm already at that point where I think uh, I'm going for that second knockdown right here. And look at that, just really simple. Once it's, you got him against the corner like that, just a uh, body shot, get the hands down, and go for a hook. Just go for the park once they're. Once their hands are down, and, and you know, just, just uh, it's pretty simple. Just swing for the parts, uh, aim for that 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 head, or the jaw area, uh, and that's one interesting thing about this game too. Like it, it does have trigger, you know, just like the face has triggers or the chin area. So if you hit the uh, hit it on the spot, you're more likely to knock down faster. So uh, keep targeting those areas and it's also in the main menu you could go into the uh the mode where you're just practicing against the uh kind of like a uh, like a not a punching bag but like the like the mannequin and then it'll have a little hot spots on there where the knockout points now there is a, i think there's a knockout point for the body as well i've i've tried to get it uh you know a body shot knockdown but i haven't been able to um, I, I don't know if anybody has been able to, but uh, I've tried it a couple times. And in the mannequin, it shows that there's um, like a knockout points there also for the body. Uh, I mean, I've hit in the body where um, it's glowed red. You know, when you punch, see right there, the jabs are blue. And then the stronger punches are yellow, and then the critical are red. Now, I've gotten a red punch in the body once, but it didn't knock 
knock the character down, the opponent down. Uh, I've always tried, you know. I, I'm a, you'll see that I try to throw a good, a good body, body hook or body jab, but I've never been able to knock an opponent down with a body shot, which is unfortunate. That I've, I've tried to do it, but it does really well to set up your power punch. See, I did a quick one to the body and then back up. And it's uh, I just ordered uh, I just ordered a pizza like this vegan pizza from uh, Leo Superfood. It's like a it's, uh, vegan place. Oh, well, I don't know if he's certified a vegan because every time I go, he says it's vegan inspired or uh, I forget his disclaimer, but I, I think it's very healthy food. Uh, healthy food. Uh, it's in the valley, uh, and it's coming in a bit, and I'm doing my. Uh, I'm doing my announcing here, so I may have to cut out and come back here and pick up uh, on this. Uh... But I think this is about to end here. I think I'm getting really close to the And just starting to pick it apart. Look at that jab. Oh, oh. Jab, jab. Yeah, I think at this point I was really content to just throw some jabs. I don't really throw too heavy punches. Yeah, at any point, if you're feeling a little tired, like, yeah, you don't have to throw heavy punches. You could just throw kind of these jabs. And you're still going to get the points, right? Yeah, it's just like boxing. Um, so, uh, that's one suggestion I have. If you're feeling a little tired to throw real heavy punches, just throw jabs. You'll win the round, if, uh, if anything. Alright guys, I'm going to pick up this track. In a bit, I'm going to go get my delivery. Uh, maybe after the end of this round, and I'll try to run back to... Uh, to pick up, so if you hear me uh, go silent for a bit, it's just because I want to go pick up my food. I, I'm, uh, I can do it now. Oh wait, it says this guy's three minutes away, my delivery, yeah. Well, I said three minutes, I don't know what these apps, they always kind of seem to be off. These will be behind sometimes. Alright, I'm just going to go out there and wait for them. I'll be back, y'all, stay on, stay tuned. Oh, hey, <laughs> all right. So I got back in time for the next round, and I got my pizza, and it was called like a like a vegan cheese pizza, and I added olives to it. So I'm really excited about this. Ooh, the crust looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna one, two, three. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what it looks like. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you a picture. Look at that knockdown, by the way. <laughs> I'm talking about my pizza. I'm, I missed my knockdown. But this pizza looks really good. Oh, look at me. See, there you go. See, body. As I said, it's really easy uh, once you get to the point where they kind of their, their defense gets real sloppy. It's just Boom. Body, headshot. Body, headshot. Yeah, look at that. Just repeat. Next knockdown. One, two, oh, no, let's check out this three, pizza. Uh, four, and I really want you guys to see this pizza. That's, uh, seven, this fight ends. Eight. Hopefully soon.
Oh man. I'm just munching at this pizza. Oh, there it is. Lights over. There we go. Mm. I gotta play. Hey, what is it? Ladies it and like gentlemen, the, with the match ending looks in like the eighth round, looks like the refs' armpits are sweaty. Your winner weird. by technical knockout. The Red. That's Queen. right. Yeah. Victory dance. Mmm. Right, thank you, ref. Great game. Well, I'm um, refing. I bet it. Good fight. I'll be back. Thank you, everybody. So, once again, uh, for those who are wondering, this is Thrill of the Fight. It's a VR boxing game. Really fun. Get a good workout. I got a good workout today. That's why I'm eating my uh, vegan pizza. That's a reward for myself. I'm trying to um, get a little cleaner this year. All right, here's the cards. I won all um, eight rounds pretty convincingly. There. Yeah. My opponent was um, nicknamed the Reverend Gene Priest. Mm -hmm. There he is. Let's go to get the um, punch counts. So my, I do have a lot of punches per round. I noticed that. I don't throw as much jab as I throw more power punches. Um, so maybe I should throw more jabs. But anyways, thank you for watching. Here's my pizza. It's uh, I don't know what the bread's made of. It looks like it just he makes his own uh, holy bread or something. But it, it's good. It is really good, and the cheese is really good, and I got olives. And the sauce is really good. And this is from Leo Superfoods Vegan Cafe. Uh, it is in Northridge, if you're wondering. It is delicious. And I tipped my, uh, my delivery driver. I think his name was Ramen. Good stuff.